Hello, Kanukit Beat. My name is Paula Siksik, and I work at the Alaska Native Heritage Center. Introduction to Cultural Host Training Objectives Facilitate greater understanding of Alaska Native culture among employees of the hospitality and tourism industries. Encourage greater cultural awareness and respect for our diverse Alaska Native culture groups. Cultural Host was developed by the Alaska Department of Commerce, Community, and Economic Development, the Alaska Native Heritage Center, and Cook Inlet Tribal Council and is designed for people working in the visitor industry to increase your awareness and knowledge of Alaska Native culture. This workshop is an opportunity to share information about the different Alaska Native groups located across the state. Through Cultural Host, you will learn some of the differences and unique aspects of each culture and gain a greater sense of appreciation of the cultural ties that bind Alaska Native cultures together. Anne Lawrence and Anupak, originally from Point Hope, located along the Arctic coast in northwest Alaska, is an experienced cultural host trainer and speaks about the value of sharing Alaska Native culture with visitor industry employees, Alaska residents, both Native and non-Native, and with visitors to our state. My name is Anne Lawrence. I originally come from Point Hope, Alaska. Cultural Host is an opportunity for visitors to learn more about what we have to offer in our great state of Alaska. We have many different um, cultures within Alaska, and we all have something unique information to share with those who come from Alaska, but it's also to help educate our very own people to better understand themselves so that they can share their culture with those who come from other parts of the world. When you start working in the visitors industry, you will be able to share and share with pride what we have in this great state of Alaska. You know, if you're interested in working in the, in the visitor industry, we encourage you to learn more about your culture and other cultures in Alaska so that when we have visitors coming from throughout the world, you are able to share genuinely from your heart what you know about the great state of Alaska. Ultimately, many of our visitors come to Alaska with an interest in learning about Alaska Native culture. They often list engaging in cultural activities among their favorite experiences while in Alaska. Well, for the visitors who come here to Alaska, it's, it's a life-changing experience for them. It really makes them realize that, as Alaska Natives, that we are truly a culture who believe in ourselves, and we are willing to share and let the world know who we are. We have so much to share, all the different cultures, all unique and all exciting. You know, all the information that we learn from each other, just teaching the class, I have become a richer person in my heart because I learn, I feel like I am the student when I am teaching the class because from the other cultures throughout Alaska, myself being an Inupiaq, it's like, oh, wow, they do that? They eat that? It's like, I mean, it's awesome to see and hear the different stories. And then also there is a lot of similarities in our culture and then so many differences, but it is, it's exciting, it's fun to learn. And you could see it, especially in the young people's eyes who say they have no culture. And then they talk about eating their grandma's agudak or dry fish. I said, you have culture. I said, you are culture, you are it. Cultural tourism opportunities in Alaska include a chance to experience the arts, heritage, and culture within diverse Native Alaskan communities. Many opportunities exist for visitors to observe and participate in cultural activities throughout the state. These include museums, cultural centers, historic and archaeological sites, festivals, traditional dances, music, and theater. It can also include first-hand observations of traditional hunting and fishing or subsistence activities 
and discovering Alaska Native arts and crafts. The key to these interactions is authenticity. Some visitors will interact directly with local residents, artists, and craftsmen, observing the creation and display of art and culture in small communities across the state, while others will rely on guides and frontline visitor industry employees to provide them with an understanding of Alaska Native culture. Well, yes, it is important for others who are not Alaska Natives wanting to be a tour guide in the tourism industry within the Alaska. And it's important for them, you know, to take this class because it helps them to better understand so they have that sense of pride that they can share facts about Alaska, which, you know, sometimes there's that misconception of we still live in igloos and we still run our dog sleds. And, you know, that's, that's, that's not so true anymore today. There is a lot of similarities in our culture and then so many differences. If we want to learn about the great state of Alaska, we want to come and see and hear the people talking about it, not just watching it in the, on TV or reading a book where our imagination can go wild. But when they actually come here and see our great state of Alaska, what a difference there is when you have that information given to you. What do we mean by Alaska Native culture? Culture is the sum total of our behaviors and beliefs, our ways of living, that transmit from one generation to the next. It is how we are distinguished from other cultures as well. The original inhabitants of our Arctic and sub-Arctic state began settling here thousands of years ago. They were resourceful and resilient and evolved through the years, readily adaptable to the changing conditions of their surroundings and physical environment. In the great state of Alaska, we have five different unique groups. We have the Inupiaq and the Siberian Yupik. We have the Yupik and Chupik. We have the Athabascans, which have 11 different groups of people with 22 different dialects. We also have the Alutik and Aleut. Also, we have the Tlingit, Haida, Iyak, and Shimshian. And within our groups of people, we are all unique. We have a lot of similarities, but then so many of our, so many of the things are different within our cultures. Our clothing, our shelter, our language, our food, art, the, the region, the environment, our, our cultural beliefs. Well, you know what, I really think that the visitor industry is curious about the traditional foods that we eat. Why do we continue to eat those when there are the supermarkets, when there's the stores that we could run to? But for us, getting our food from the land and the sea, there is a greater satisfaction because what we catch, we share. And it's, it's, I think it's really important that they have a better understanding of why we do that. I mean, can you imagine our lifestyle thousands of years ago, how different it was, how it was a necessity to walk the long distance, to travel, not knowing what is on the other side of the mountain or on the other side of the lake. Many of us have had to move here to, you know, to the cities because, um, we want an education for our children. We want our children to get a good education. We want them to succeed in the, in the world, but then we also want them to have that, that want to go back to the village and learn. We go back every summer, my family. They go back for the whole summer from soon as school is out until a day or two before school begins because our children love to go back they love the hunting and the fishing. They love, you know, doing the subsistence lifestyle. Even within the state of Alaska, we, some of us would still like to go back to the village and live the subsistent lifestyle. And it's a slower pace of life, but then there's that satisfaction of living off the land and just, you know, living. The more you share, the more that comes back to you. That's how it goes, you know. If you don't share, you're thought of as a stingy person. So the animal spirits won't come to you. They won't share with you either. And we believe in that. I truly believe in that. 
We hope you enjoy learning about Alaska Native culture through this cultural host workshop or through cultural awareness training, such as that offered by the Alaska Native Heritage Center, and hopefully from observing, meeting, visiting, and participating in Alaska Native events, communities, and attractions. We hope that this is just the beginning as there is much to learn.